Have you ever noticed these somebody on the side of the road spinning a sign, an advertisement of some store there on the corner? There's always some, you know, 15 to 25 year old kid out there, you know, with a trash stash, and everybody has the exact same conversation every single time. They go, oh, geez. How much do you think that kid's getting paid, huh? Every single time. Oh, boy, would you like to do that in this heat? Yeah, especially sometimes when they're wearing those god-awful, you know, mascot uniforms sitting there in the corner. It's 90 degrees. Oh, boy, how would you like to do that in that heat for minimum wage, huh? It's the same conversation every time without failure. Maybe the reason nobody could tell what the hell is going on or what the advertisement's actually for is because they're too busy trying to read the goddamn sign that's flipping all around, breaking their necks, just trying to read what the hell it says. This is not good advertising, people. Wake up, America. We got issues here. Enough of this fucking bullshit. I've noticed that in sports, there's certain phrases that are good in some sports and really, really bad in other sports. For example, I know a triple-double is great in basketball, but it's terrible in golf. Uh, nailing a perfect 10 is great for gymnasts, but it's terrible for married basketball players. A 100-yard dash is really good in track and field. It's actually really good in football, too, so never mind. Uh, strikes are really good for bowlers. And baseball pitchers, but terrible for NFL labor unions. And a backside fakey beta flip is great for skateboarding. But it's just absolute fucking nonsense in every other aspect of the world. Love is great in every sport, but for some reason it's terrible in tennis. Two kills is really good in volleyball but really bad for Aaron Hernandez. Dog fights are great in boxing. Not so great for Michael Vick. Getting drafted is great in pretty much every sport, but terrible in World War II. You know, Rihanna has been doing her Tutorial Tuesdays on uh, YouTube, which are her, it's her beauty show where she puts on makeup and all this stuff, and it's all her designer brand of makeup, and uh, this Tuesday she was showing uh, the young girls out there how to put on her eyeliner, and uh, you know, Rihanna has done a great job over the years of teaching young women how to get black eyes. So she, she's the perfect person to be promoting this eyeliner. And I, I'm just really proud of her. You know, whenever I go to the dentist, it's always the same exact scenario. I go in there. They go into my mouth. They start scraping around. The lady says the same thing every time. You got beautiful teeth, but uh, your gums, they're not, they're not in good shape. And I said, oh, really? Why, why, aren't, why aren't they in good shape? And she says, well, when I, when I scratch them with this fish hook, they start bleeding. I said, yeah, maybe stop scratching me with the fucking fish hook. All right? Just trying to live my life here. I'm bleeding all over the place propusefully from my mouth. Because you're scraping and carving my face with a fucking rusty hook. All right? So maybe if you stop doing that, my gums would bleed. You know, there's this new restaurant in uh, that's opening up in Maine. And what they do, uh, they, they're a crab restaurant. What they do is they get the crabs high on marijuana before they boil them as a way to, one, make them taste better, and two, kind of be a more humanizing way of boiling them alive but to me this is just this is too much because you know i've heard of stone crab but stoned crab is just way too far you know texting and driving may be very hard 
But there's no way it's as hard as texting, driving, drinking, smoking crack, and having sex with a prostitute. There's just no way. You know what I was just thinking about is that movie Super Size Me. You know, what What a brilliant movie this was, right? Uh, so for those of you that don't know what Super Size Me is, it's this documentary where a guy eats nothing but McDonald's for 30 days straight. And whenever they ask him if he would like to have it supersized, he must respond, yes. So this man went on this diet for 30 days. And at the end of it, he found out that eating McDonald's supersized every day for 30 days, three meals a day, isn't good for you. I mean, what a brilliant movie this was.